to engage. Squad. With balloon. And uh, yeah, with the clappers too, it's awesome. They're just missing the drums. You know? <laughs> Imagine if that was present here. Hey, There's you a don't complete one-man band here for each of these just having a great crowd cheer. Maybe the grand final, right? They pull those out. Still, this is the early game. What we usually expect. A little bit of poking. Nice hook already landing. Looking for the first blood. Moreno going to be in trouble. Couple hits away. Gets it with the first blood in the hands of Saison here. Attack of a penetration from Magic to, uh, to damage. Interesting choice in a round for Philippines. Oh, hook. Another hook going to land. Ken, though. Super Ken will be fine. Still going to come down to the retribution here. Saison goes in, but it's actually going to be secured by Archangel. Meanwhile, nobody goes down here. Pulling back here on the retreat. No one falls. Turtle, though, secured for Philippines. Interesting that you pointed that out too, right? In pure rage on this Lancelot. Is that, you know, is that going to work? Is that Troll Recall and Echo? Because at that point, Cyclone's oh. Retribution was still not available. Yeah, not much you can do there. That's what I'm talking about, man. The decisiveness with Franco flickering in, using that ultimate, the bloody hunt. It's a it's a clean kill. How do you, how do you play against that, right? How do you go defensive mode against that type of decision making really you kind of have to just get to the point here's the hard guard arms super can you go going down nice pickup kill putting indonesia on the board here that's what they needed it also went in the hands of super ken so hopefully he can take that scale up really well in the jungle good rotation there onto the go onto the river where the lore or the portal might show up but just by the presence of this Angela, having three warrior boots here, you have extra armor, and also have steel leg plates onto this Uranus. Probably he wanted to sustain more damage that you can take from Azur Rizla. You have Spell Vamp and Rock and Brave Smite. You might want to deflect that early on if you want to have more spam to the back line of the Philippines. Now, looking at the camera right here, we're up top, so I can take a, a bit of damage from uh, Ricordiano against Brody, you know. Going to play the part, and you'll see it kind of unfold as the game goes on. Second turtle now, big objective. For the taking, Hardguard going to be on Cerezo, trying to tank as much as damage as possible. Quite tanky, Saison could be in trouble. Penalty zone to use, Archangel now making his way, has to lay down some of the covering fire. Flicker comes out from Kanon, Unigo will fall there. A kill going to the hands of Vin. Meanwhile, Turtle will be secured here by Indonesia. Slowly but surely, they're finding wins across the map. Cerezo, one-man army, defense, zone out, box out onto the Philippines. Well, poked out a lot of resources as well by just being in the presence in the front line with a follow up with hard gun in the love waves. That is a problem with the Philippines that needs to commit. Either they go in or, or for, for an attack or a for retreat. But at some point, that is the danger right now of the Angela having this impure rage right onto his hands. Poking and actually build on through the magic damage is a bit of a challenge though for Philippines to build with the defense items heading on from minute eight. Still at this point, five minutes in, it's pretty much even, right? Economy-wise as well, a little bit of lead here for the Philippines. Again, it's two for two. Well distributed too, as in terms of the kills, right? But this time, Recutiano having that early kill on this Brody will help him scale up a little bit here, right? Now, you just have to manage this kind of lead that you have so that it doesn't get out of control. And that's what Indonesia has to do. They seem to be doing just fine. Once again, it's one for one for the Turtles. You can see the pressure here for the jungle as well. Say Sun. Getting pushed in a little bit on his own resources will be fine. Has to use that tool. Now, you go once again, Super Ken with the hard guard. Going to be putting the pressure hard. here. Archangel in trouble. Goes in under the turret with that. And now, Unigo will fall along with the turret as well. Another solid pickup for Indonesia here. Meanwhile, in mid lane, the trade across the map. They finally get some space to work with for the Philippines. Terezo able to spot them out. Shouldn't be able to convert much, but look at this. Indonesia making their way here, not going to be able to catch Saison just yet. So still, across the map, happening, still even here, OSX. Experience translating into success. Going back on this replay, Julio was in trouble. Two, was, two members there of Indonesia was present, trying to take on the turret. But that point in time, Moreno has the ultimate. A lot of poke potential was thrown away and peeled everything out of the Philippines to go back to their own defenses, and just as that. With the diversion play that Indonesia made, also Philippines found a way to have a cross map objective trade. Once again, turtle up, third one, last one of the game here. Heart guard on Cerezo, taking the brunt of this damage. Gonna get locked down, poked down with Astral Recall as well. Will get whittled down until he finally falls. Penalty zone commit as well. Unigo quite Who low, has to get out of there. It's secured by Rekutiano, able to get the third turtle here. For the Philippines, look at the push up top though. Sakin putting in work solo.
wow, just by in a macro scale, no matter how or what objective that they lost, they traded with a push, they traded with a ton of these lords popping up, that is going to play a part in here. Let's take a quick look at this item rundown, though, quickly. Yeah, we have the Blade of Heaven, he's spread, we have Tough Boots here present as well, you have the Passive, the Encourage, you have extra attributes in the damage, plus physical penetration to Malefic Roar, probably building off the Blade of the Square of the Brody, but now he is the richest marksman now on this game in this first 9-minute mark. So with this, by now being disturbed around, it amplifies more of the passive of the Blade of Heaven, which is the ambush. So finding a way to the back line, is the major problem that Indonesia wants to solve. Who is going to go up front? Yes, there's an Angela, but once they commit, it needs to go all in. Oh, look what they're going for. They're going to land the hook here right on Super Ken in his own jungle. Can't escape it as he falls right on target. Wow. A huge penalty zone coming out from Cannon. Not able to follow up on the kill just yet, but they forced them back all in time for this Lord. Now that this is the first one of the game, a big play here for the Philippines. Yeah, that is what I told you. Commitment needs to even show much more confident, much more precise. The control and amount in a macro scale of the Philippines right now is too much of a problem. They go top, they go to bottom. Man, everything is just going crazy. And even with the lead right now, we're looking at a 4K gold lead. And we heard a conceal oh, down bottom. Conceal. Somebody might be in trouble here. Vin, though! Yeah, you're not, not escaping it. Conceal, I don't even know if you needed the conceal there, right? He's just, he was trapped. Next thing you know, he sees Franco there. Franco, man, right? That's not, not no. going to work out for you. So he goes down. Now you have the Lord marching up the top side. Remember I was talking about economy being pretty much even across the board? Well, now, look, it's really in favor of the Philippines. As they continue to work around this Lord push, they're going to get these next turrets, right? That's what they're set on. They're letting that Lord push in with Saison here. The Tier 2 now in the bottom lane will go down. Indonesia has to defend their base turrets at this point. It should be relatively easy to clear it out, right? They have the tools that they need, but they will lose these outer turrets here. Ten minutes. Team Philippines remains deathless. PHI Saison right now rocking a hybrid onto the Imperial Age. Just by building this an additional item to sustain more of the damage, a lot of which is they can't get oh, fight. But somebody got another caught. Another hook. Hard guard on Sock, and he's already using the Blazing Duet, but they can't capitalize on it. He's still going to be alive. Finally, Moreno's going to fall. They look for another three down for Indonesia. Recutiano able to get the killing spree. Now, Chorizo in trouble. Double kill on this Brody, and they're going to assault the base. It's only Vin. It's a disaster for them as Philippines looks to close. Game number one on a clean wipe out there. The Crystals worked on, and they take first blood in the series. And just as that, 11 points, three level X 